Welcome to this week's Chinook News! Good morning, Clackamas River Chinooks. We want to say good morning to you. And also this month, we are talking about that innovative spirit. So welcome to the month of innovation, where we are encouraging others to be creative thinkers in order to accomplish our purposes. So that thinking outside the box. Yes, we are. And some updates, Miss Anderson, that we have coming up. Read day is tomorrow. So that's the 17th. And then our next read day isn't until March third okay so remember that because on monday is no school the 20th we are out of school that day and that week looks a little different because we're going to have school tuesday through friday yes please mark that you have regular attendance on friday anytime we have a monday off our monday schedule switches to friday all right also exciting Read Across America Week is right around the corner. So we are getting ready to celebrate in our pods with all kinds of exciting things. Students, just to let you know, we are tracking three specific things in our district. And one of those is attendance. Are you here at school? We're keeping track of that. And guess what, Miss Anderson? We have 88% of our students meeting that goal of being here 80% or more. Wow, that's 404 people. That's a lot. That's wow, a lot quick math people. there. Very, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and then another one is work completion. We're focusing on work getting completed and turned in. And guess what that number is? What? 99%. So like 450? Whoa, she's really good at math. And then the other piece that we're tracking is essential learning standards. Are you learning the standards? And guess what that number is? 90%. 413. Whoa, math whiz. All right, those are big numbers for all of us though. And we are very happy to be celebrating those with you. So keep coming to school because you can't learn when you're not here. Also, keep turning that work in so you can get feedback from your teacher, and we're gonna keep pushing to figure out how we can all get to where we need to be with our learning standards. So because what's our goal? Everyone, 100% meet the essential learning standards. So let's support each other, let's be innovative thinkers, and let's keep moving forward in that. Yes, we have another really fun thing coming up, Miss Anderson. What's that? The school store one of my favorite times of year so if you take home your packet get a couple people to sign up for it you get to bring it down to the office and we will give you that little packet we showed you last week you can open it up and take out your little wrist animal so k through five all get the same price this year that's exciting yes all right and that's starting on february 20th so get ready for that that's just right around the corner literally next week yeah and you know we were walking around and we saw lots of canned food coming into the pods because right now it is our food drive so if you're not sure what to bring have your parents open up the s'more and read each class has a different type of food they are bringing in yummy okay and then one of my most favorite parts of the month is our school-wide assembly that is coming up next week so be prepared for that at 750 sharp, we're gonna be recognizing those students for being innovative. So let's go and I'm excited. Okay, also exciting, trivia. trivia. Okay, let's start with our kinder through second graders, Miss Anderson. Let's draw a couple out of here. Okay, I'll take one and you take All one. All right. Oh, they're all stuck together. Okay. From Miss Gaylor's class, I have Ash. So Ash was successful in doing all of the work that is listed on this worksheet. Nice job. Yeah. Wow. Congrats. Let me dig another one out of here. By the way, I did get a very nice uh, Valentine's paper here. Happy Valentine's Day. Let's see. Ooh, let's see. Oh. I have one from Mrs. Johnson's classroom, and that is Kayla. Come on down and pick up that prize. Congratulations. 
Okay. Let's go through our third through fifth. All right, I found a third grader. We have Melissa from Miss Rutherford's class. Congratulations, Melissa. Come on down for your prize. All right, and we have Zoe from Miss Cressick's class. Come on down and pick out that prize. Thank you so much for participating. So those are our winners for trivia. And Miss Anderson, let's head on out and check out our new trivia this week. How about our winner for the Golden Plunger? Ooh, Golden Plunger. Let's take it away and jump over to Mr. Adam Armstrong to tell us who won that Golden Plunger this week. Hello, Chinooks. It's that time again, and we are so excited to be checking in with that Golden Plunger Fairy to see who won it this week. Mr. Adam Armstrong? What's those details? This week's going to be kindergarten first grade boys. Woo! Good job, kindergarten and first grade boys. Keep up that great work. How about the golden tray? Golden tray, I'm so glad you asked, Miss Anderson. We have some data to show you with our graph that hangs up in the cafeteria. I want to see, do you recognize the difference between these two graphs? That's who won. Guess what else? We will come in to that cafeteria lunchtime and announce to you those winners. Okay, how about the golden book? The golden book. All right, let's fly on in to the library and check on Mrs. T and that golden book fairy. Hello, Chinooks. We're in the library and we are gonna check to see who won that golden book this week. But first, Mrs. T, can you tell us what you're doing? I am covering these books to keep them clean and to make them last for all your little brothers and sisters in a few years. Whoa, that's amazing. I bet you've never seen that happening. I want to say awesome job, Miss Munn's class. Woo! Way to go. I'll be dropping that book off in a few seconds. <gasps> be on the lookout for that golden book. Here it comes. And last but not least, we have our golden backpack. The golden backpack. Let's travel on down to the pod. Do you recognize this pod? These are your winners for that golden backpack. Congratulations to our second grade team for picking up and showing a very, very tidy and clean pod area. Thank you so much. Okay, nice job winners. We are gonna move ahead and we are gonna celebrate some birthdays. For Happy birthday to you. For our staff, if you've ever gone into the cafeteria, you should be very thankful for this lady because every single day she comes to work to make sure that you have delicious food to eat. So happy birthday to Miss Ashley, our head cook. So when you see her, tell her happy birthday this week. We also have Tavis in Miss O'Connor's room, Tavia in Miss Wood, Jason, Miss Brown, Mila in Miss Cresser, Isla in Miss Sherman, Arius in Miss Oberg, Andrea in Miss Johnson, Skylar in Miss Oberg, Elena in Miss Weller, Adrock in Miss Freeze, John in Miss Weller, and Wilder in Miss Clayton's class. Happy birthday to all of you. Happy, happy birthday. All right, let's stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, we hope you have a wonderful three-day weekend. We will see you back here on Tuesday.